for the final. Middle of man, the underdog with the bookmakers plus 265. So could you minus 325, Michael Chevello, Guy Mizga, and Jason Mayer Miller with you. You know, real quick though, uh, the, a note that needs to be made is that this is a 10 point must system, uh, round by round, which is different than they normally score in the Japanese uh, fighting, which is it's more like the uh, UFC and Strike Force. Yeah, they've also changed up the usually the first first round is 10 minutes this time uh, these guys got a break five minutes it's a phenomenally long time to fight but still not the 10 minutes they're used to who will throw down first in the super hulk final a very tentative start as sokuju just tries to cut off the ring middleman looks like he's setting for the right hand it'll be sokuju with the size with the strength with the power that middle man is capable of those thrilling submissions should it go to ground. We also know Middle Man has been particularly working on his striking in preparation for tonight. Yeah, you know, and, and that right leg being all taped up like that, Minimum Man's got to be looking at that like a packed lunch or a bento <laughs> box. Oh, you're because, not Because, you know, he's great with those leg locks. If he can get down to the ground, you know, I, I, don't, I don't see him trying to take that ankle home with him. Yeah, I mean, a toe hold or a heel hook would... Uh would light that knee up pretty quick. Yeah, but but these guys are both really tentative, you know. I mean, I, I guess they really want to win the Super Hulk tournament. Minimum you know man who is wearing the wrestling boots here to give him more traction should he shoot in on Sokaju and he goes for a single leg on the back leg. Can't get it locked on though. And they tie up against the ropes. Yeah, early on, uh Sokaju is phenomenally hard to get take down. You know, I mean it, it, if you've seen it in his other fight other fights in the opening minutes he's hard to take down. If Manoa man gets this takedown it's gonna be devastating for his confidence. Yeah I, I think that's that, that had some of the tentativeness of the, of the fight here. Oh, guard. Yeah why and a half he, guard he pulled half guard. Yeah, what, he what wants is? to be down on the ground for sure. Uppercut from Sokaju big outside five ah, nice. single leg here from Minoa man can he sweep up the I support sweep leg. The leg. Amazing ground and pound from Sokaju, this is one of his greatest strengths. This is how he made it to the Super Hulk final. Middle is going to go for a submission. Sokaju tries to pull the leg out. It's that right leg you were talking about, Mayhem. I told you that you know that he's really looking for that submission early on. Uh, I don't see him getting it from here. He's out yeah. already. Sokaju goes to side control, drills in the right hand to the jawline, and again. Yeah, Have a fist strike on the side of the head from Sokaju. Yeah, not the greatest position for Minnow a man to be in, but right now he's still just humping for that takedown. Look at him. Double leg from Minnow again tries to pull guard inside the half guard here, Sokaju. Now to the other side with the leg lock. What he's doing is he's pulling like a, a position to go for that, that submission. He's not really pulling guard. What he's doing is he's, he's pulling uh, with, with his leg in between there so he can go bring his leg on the outside. Oh, nice knee. Oh, it left his jaw dangerously exposed to the boy take Lynch and knee back at the side and drop the ground again really bad position here from Minoa man under two minutes remaining only five minute rounds here tonight as opposed to the usual 10 minute opening round so could you really take oh it takes it back and he's going to try and choke him here so could you oh, Minoa man in naked. trouble Minoa man in trouble but he's out now and again gives his back will so could you try and sink the rear naked choke once more and he does he's got the hooks in the resiliency of Minoa Man right now. I mean, he's just taking abuse and never giving up. Got the samurai spirit in him. He's got an enormous heart as Minoa Man. And just trying to control that right arm of Sokaju, not allowing the Cameroonian fighter to loop it under the chin and get the blood choke on. Yeah, we've never really seen Sokaju from this position try to try to go for a submission. I can't remember in any of his fights him ever being here working for the submission. Minua Man's going to work for a submission, meanwhile, on the left foot here of Sokaji. Yeah, I think it's really it. hard to get something from there. Toe lock, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. In, inverted heel hook. I mean, inverted toe hold is pretty <laughs> tough to get. I mean, you can do it, but it, you don't see it often. Here's the master of the crazy submissions is Minua Man. And cross face there from Sokaji. Catches him with a couple of right hands. You see the welts already on the right cheek and orbital bone of Minua Man as Sokaji once again taking Minoa's back. 
Yeah, just maintaining the position here. You know, it's strange. I, Terry, Terry Sokaju must be changing up his techniques because, you know, you, before you'd see him only stay on top and try try to punch. Now he's trying to su do, you know, pull a submission on the submission expert, Minoa Man. How about that? Elbows to that damaged right knee there from Minoa Man on the ground. Always inventive, always thinking as Minoa Man. It all's fair in love and mixed <laughs> martial arts. Yeah, not horribly sportsmanlike of him, but... Uh, Definitely think. Who am I to judge, really? Yeah, really. Here it is, into the first round. We do have three judges scoring on a 10 point must system. That said, Guy, how do you score the opening? I think so. Could you, uh, you know, controlled it, did the best. He landed the strikes. A few, you know, not that, it, not that he had really close to any submissions or anything, but he, he had the most convincing ones. Mayhem, if you're in the corner of middle of man, what are you telling the punk to do differently in the second round? Well, I mean, his style of fighting is much different than I'm used to. You know, he, he's really going for those Hail Mary uh, submissions where he's jumping into a bad position. I would tell him to be more effective with uh, mixing his striking and his takedown. So that way, you know, it's easier to catch Sokaju off guard and possibly get him to the ground where you can effectively, you know, do the submissions. Minua Man, a pro mixed martial arts record, 43, 30, and 8. A massive 28 submission wins. 12 of those coming either by a heel hook or toe hold. He's had more submissions than a high school newspaper. Can he lock one on in the second round here against Sokaju? But unofficially, as Sexy Beast number one guy Mezga said, first round goes to Sokaju. And, you know, Sokaju looks relaxed. He doesn't look tired. He looks nice and relaxed, rested. So, you know, I think Minowa Man needs to put more pressure on it. You know, that's that's kind of been uh, Sokaju's problem is he kind of fades. But Minowa not putting any pressure on him to make him, uh, you know, exert too much energy. Big load of Nick Leap, Nick Man 9000, the comic king. I know he's enjoying this one, a big Minowa Man fan, as many of us are. Minua Man's face tells the tale of the first round ground and poundage, though, from Sokaju. Look at the red welts and that right cheek of Minua. And if you see a shot of his hamstring, you can almost see the toes imprinted on the hamstring of Minua, courtesy of a leg kick very early on in the first round. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, he, he wasn't very effective in that first round. Got caught with a lot of stuff. And, you know, he tried his submissions, but if you don't get those and you end up on bottom, you end up with a pink cheek like Minua Man's got right now. Again, a very tentative start to the round, as we saw in the first stanza. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't understand this. I, I, I figure Sokaju should have a lot of confidence right now going to this round and, and, and come out guns blazing, but I, apparently, you know, he wants to take his time and, and make sure not. Oh, good exchange there. Sokaju actually faked the right hand, and then he's got on the inside, he popped an uppercut. Overhand right from Minua. Needs to be careful and not to leave his chin exposed. Again, wades in with an overhand right. Looks to lock onto a double leg here, just backing Sokaju against the ropes. Yeah, he looks to be effectively mixing his striking with those takedown attempts, you know, and not getting hit on the way in. That's the important part. Oh, oh, he's trying to work the submission out. Now the heel hook looks to be locked on. Uh, solid but right Sokaju hand from Sokaju. Yeah. This is the aggressive, powerful ground and pound that Sokaju is renowned for. We've seen it so far in his two super hold fights to get here. Well, not only is uh, Minimal Man going to have uh, pink cheeks from these shots, he's going to have a lower IQ if he keeps this up. <laughs> these are not good shots to be taken. North-south position here, works the knees to the shoulder blade. Does so could you. You can hear the breathing all mic'd up in that corner. Real heavy labored breathing from both both competitors right now. I, I'm surprised. You know, I, I, that, that exchange is pretty heated right there. I think that if Sokaju right now postures up, starts landing shots, this could be over pretty quick. I think Sokaju had a really good uh, takedown attempt, just a little bit too close to the ropes that, uh, you know, he could catch himself in a sitting position there. Inside the half guard here, Sokaju. Yeah, Minoa Man has now stopped grappling, which is terrible. He really needs to start moving now, or, or you know, the more shots you take from here, the more likelihood that the fight will be over soon. But, you know, Sokaju looks like he's not, you know, he's just content to be here on top, not doing anything. I guess a lot of people thought it may have been a much more aggressive fight than we're seeing at the moment with a lot more submission attempts from Minua and a lot more ground and pound from 
what we've seen from Sokaju Guy. Yeah, I think he may have run himself out a little bit. I mean, even though he's in a dominant position, you know, like you said, Guy, uh, he, he, he is known to fade. And here in round two, he's deep into round two, and it doesn't look like he's got a lot of gas in the gas tank. I, I'd like to see him come out a little harder right now. Yeah, I mean, I think also, too, he's being a little more cautious. You know, he knows that now it's a 10-point, uh, you know, must system. And so he's what? still probably thinking, I, I won the first round. If I can muscle out the second round. You know, I think he's, he's just fighting a more cautious fight than he is really super tired at this point. But, you know, uh, either way, Minimal Man needs to needs to be pushing this fight. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Minimal Man is sort of working off of his back right now instead of just, just resting. Oh, looking Ooh. for the leg lock here is Minimal Man. If he can get this sweep, this could be bad news for the dreadlock hero. Sokic is still in top position, stuck inside the half guard here. And he drills that right hand again. That'll ring your bell. Middle man closes the guard. Puts that triangle around the leg there of Sonkaju. Sonkaju again, just getting that right arm free and working to the left side of the temple of Minua. One minute remaining here in the second round of three. Minua tries to control the back of the head, not allowing Sonkaju to posture up and work those hands. Just tuck that one to the chin, that one to the orbital bone. It's all about looking for a submission for Minua Man off of his back, as it was against Hong Man Choi at Dream 11, as it was against Bob Sapp at Dream 9. And Sokaju wants to get that right arm free, he does now. What should Minua be doing here, Guy Mezga? Well, if you see his bandaged knee there, you know, what he's trying to do is go underneath him and, and, and pull in a submission. He needs to get that knee across Sokaju's body. Uh, so he can get some leverage in order to, to roll him, and he's not. Hammer his strike. He's just trying to muscle it with uh, just his, there, he's just. Oh, middle old man trying to roll and lock up the right leg. Here we go. Oh, oh my God. Exactly, oh, exactly. He may be out. He may be in too low on the knee to get it. Oh, he oh, went right to the knee bar. Right on the bell. Wow. Guy, had he had another 15 or 20 seconds, would he have locked it on? I think he was a little bit too low for it, but it actually, you know, you see uh, Sokachu there, Terry, he stood up, he's kind of limping a little bit, he checked his knee, so uh, that was pretty good, yeah. pretty good attempt, though. Mayhem, you called it right at the start of the fight when you saw the bandaged leg of Sokachu, you called that it'd be like painting a target on the leg of the Cameroonian. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Minoa Man it tends to go to the submission on that side anyway. So it's even better when he sees that. And look look how close the submission got. Uh, yeah, Sokaju pulls his knee out just a little bit, but look, it's yeah, it's actually good. You know, he, he might have been able to pull that out. Wow. You know, I mean, uh, I Very close. Way to, way to turn up the drama, Minoa, man. Yeah, because, again, this probably changes the, the dynamics of, of that round. I mean, you know, the Japanese love the submission attempts. So this could have been a, a minimal man round when normally, uh, you know, this would have been a um, Sokaju round. Yeah, he went for a few more, you know, he went for a few submission attempts and, and Sokaju landed a few hard shots in that round. I mean, that could have been anyone's round. Who, 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 who would you give that to? I'm just uh, you know, I think for those sub, those strong submission attempts, uh, it could be minimal. Man. Yeah. Maybe an even, yeah, I think Maybe it's even, even but yeah, I mean, this could be even, goes down to this round. Third yeah. and final round. I'm with you there. Sokaju came in minus 325, Minua at plus 265. Made it a very competitive fight, though. I mean, you know, Sokaju has come closer, I think, to, the, I mean, possibly finishing the fight. Who knows, you know? I mean, this is this is a toss-up right now. A very emotional contest here. The majority of 37,000 fans here at the St. Thomas Super Arena surely behind Minua Man. And once again, as we have the previous two rounds, both men, sensitive starts. Yeah, definitely. Really tentative. You know, I mean, I know they respect one another. A, a, a Minoa man definitely respects the power in the hands of Sokaju. And, and, uh, and Sokaju does not want to get taken down. So oftentimes you'll find that in a, in a match like this, you know, uh, where guys will be more tentative uh, in the striking portion. Yeah, I think Manoa Man needs to go back to what he did before, which is kind of throw that looping right hand into the clinch. And Terry... Terry needs to start using that jab. He's got an effective jab. He's very good at distance. I don't know why, you know, he's not a little bit more. Uh, maybe, Warning, he's, maybe he's tired, like you said. You know? Yeah, I think that as a matter, they burned them, themselves out there in that first round, really, really uh, fighting for position. 
And, uh, you know, they, they, they've come out in round two and three. You know, these guys are big guys. I, I, you know, you can't really tell from your TV screen, but these are no, big. That's they a look lot like of big beef. guys. That's they look like big guys oh, on okay. TV. <laughs> well, my TV is kind of small. But, but, yeah, these are big meat trucks that are just <laughs> hammering each other. Minnow man at 185. Sonny could do at 205. And the referee could caution them for a okay. second time here, and he will. If he starts to fire the yellow cards, which he may, it'll be an instant 10% purse deduction oh. for both Minowa and Sokaju. Ouch. And then the next time, I mean, they bring out the cattle prods. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, barbed wire whips. But, uh, yeah, and, and I'm not a huge fan of the yellow cards, you know, I think, but that was definitely a just yellow card. These guys are not uh, not fighting. Yeah, I, I, I'm not. I'm not sure why. Why so tentative now? If I was Minowa man, I would. I would recognize that I was close to that submission attempt, and it would give me a little confidence going in for that for that double leg again. And I'd recognize that I tried to put it on with only 10 seconds remaining, and once again, time is ticking down here. Yeah, you know, and so could you. Uh, he, he's trying to glide through this fight. I mean, I don't think he's convincingly won yet. No, no one's done anything. It's been two minutes into the fight. And, and I also, too, I think, you know, minimal man knows. I, I don't see uh, Terry uh, Sokaju countering with that right knee. So I think, you know, you know, I think he needs to lunge in there and get go for that takedown. Yeah, it, it, it's kind of it's kind of crazy that they're not doing anything. Looks like it's turning into a blinking contest at the moment. And once again, referee is going to pull out another yellow card. It'll be another 10% of the purse of both Minowa and Sokaju. Yeah, so both men are now going home one-fifth the poorer after tonight. Good Lord, that's, that's as bad as the IRS. <laughs> Someone has to throw down here in the final round. Two minutes 20 remaining. If they don't do something soon, I'm going to take off my damn suit jacket and get in there. <laughs> this is ridiculous. We're not even seeing a shoot attempt here. Not a shot, Minua. not a jab, not a punch, not a dreadlock swaying in the wind. I wish these guys would get to work. All right, finally, so could there you. There we go. Ooh, Ushido Gary turning back into the midsection. And it's the only scoring technique so far, which means technically, so could you is ahead in this round. Well, you can't be behind in this round, really. <laughs> And again, Minua just sitting back, not even peppering or probing with a jab or testing the waters with a leg kick. And Somebody, this isn't even like t classical Minua, man. I mean, this guy usually brings the fights. There's never a boring fight with him. But. I know, yeah. I, I was surprised. I've seen him use pro wrestling techniques like the... <laughs> oh! <laughs> Sleep, including his opponent, <laughs> and then clock him while he was uh, not paying attention. Hey, oh look, my goodness. That's a damn good technique, apparently. Yeah, apparently, that's yeah, a the technique. championship. Ladies and gentlemen, middle of man, the smallest man in the tournament, is the Super Hulk champion. And so could you, is still down. That was a beautiful shot from Minua. Just one shot. That was quite the kibosh, wasn't it? Yeah, I, 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 that I don't put think... the kibosh in the big kibosh. <laughs> Listen, that was a kibosh chowder. <laughs> oh, man. I, I couldn't believe that. That's that, great. That was I a mean, big surprise. Man, let's go to the replay. Yeah, I'd that. like to see that one again. Man, that was great. Minua man. Just I... one shot. It's not often you see Minua knock out an opponent with his hands. It's always mostly the submission wins. And just the shock. Even on the face of Sokaju, his corner, the middle actually connected with a knockout blow. Sokaju, meanwhile, still sitting on the canvas, devastated. <laughs> yeah, I love middle man. They're reading, they're reading the uh, the award to him, and he's spitting water on. <laughs> yeah, that, that's funny. I think Terry's just disappointed. I don't think he's hurt. I think he's just I think he's shocked that it happened. He looked at the referee as they thought it was a, a, a early stoppage too. He's just disappointed. Sasahara-san here making it all official that Minua Man is about to be crowned the Super Hulk champion. What an ovation. Did you hear that audience pop guy? 37,000 suddenly lit up fans here at the St. Thomas Super Arena went into ecstasy.
Listen, you know, he is a charismatic fighter. I love this guy. You know, I, I knew him back in the days in Pancrase. He was one of the younger fighters when I was actually finishing up my career. Do you want and, to wear uh, the red Speedos I've got on? Hey, do you want him to wear a pair of them? You believe want, it or not. You want it. Hey, believe it or not, I have red Speedos. <laughs> I used to fight them in Pancrase. <laughs> yeah, which is funny. You know, it's like, he, you know, it's a, a style that's not really worn anymore, thank goodness. But, uh... Hell, I'm bringing him back for my next fight. Whoa, hey, you guys, hey, hey, I'll tell you what. I, I, you I, I, I got some. I'll dust the cobwebs <laughs> off for you, buddy. You can have them. Uh, uh, your red speedos are probably peak these days. Uh, <laughs> Just make sure you wash them, Miska. <laughs> there it is, the uh, fist okay. pump. And have a look. 37,000 people are also fist pumping along with me to a man. It is just amazing scenes here. The Kinnikuman top team members around the world, Gravity Eyelids, Aiden Millard, and all the gang, all around the world, so many hundreds of thousands of Middle Man fans have got to be enjoying this very special moment. He came in as the underdog in a tournament that featured behemoths like 6'11", Jan Nortier, 6'6", 300 plus pounds of Bob Sapp, 7'2", 300 pounds of Hongman Joy. But it was the smallest man who took it out. 5'9", 185 pounds of the punk. Ikuhisa Minua. We know and love him as Minua Man. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Here it is. Oh, left hook on the button. Sokaju down. Boom. Ouch. It was just the quantity of punches that just came forward, swinging. And, man, Sokaju caught a nice one on the left side of his, or the right side Boom. of his chin. You know, but it may have been a little bit of a, a quick uh, stoppage here, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it could be, it could be argued that it was a quick stoppage, but 